Tate just moving into position there. Where we go, the revs comes up and these uh, older, predominantly British bikes head out on the journey. And it is the 69 of Mark Hawes in front of him. Tate moves through into second place. Good start too in the juniors for uh, Bill Jaynes down there uh, on the, um, the little uh, AJS, uh, sorry, the BSA, and he's number 141. So out of the uh, Westpac turn into the Suzuki S for the first time. the Norton. We say that Norton invented handling. Well, you certainly see it here in the uh, the classic racing and it's always a Norton to the fore in the senior classics. So Halls leads it. Colin Tate will be second as they run down the Honda straight. Getting a lap to settle in because uh, that wasn't a bad start from Mark Hall. 55.079 from the standing start. This next lap will be appreciably quicker. David Hall moves into second place. Tate is third, and it's Dan, Dan Hanley in fourth place on the 89 machine. Here we go back to Peterson and John Carter. through the farm services, Kington heads down into the Ash Caddy turn one, and he's got uh, a pretty healthy advantage now, the best part of eight tenths of a second over David Hall in second, Colin Tate goes back to third, all oh, one overshot there, I think that might have been Hall, pick it up well when we can, yellow flags come in, so he's going again, but just uh, outbreaked himself going into the Ash Caddy turn, we'll work it out by a process of elimination, there is number 28, David Hall, so it might have been the 69 that uh, overshot, I think it was, and uh, that was um, the early race leader, and that's Mark Hall. So David Hall could be the race leader if they get up the back straight now. Confirm that for you when the uh, lap chart ticks over or when we see them at the top end of the circuit at the uh, showy hairpin. So across the start-finish line they go, and it is David Hall in the front. So it was Mark Halls that overshot. Unfortunately, Colin Tate couldn't capitalise, but he's back in third place. Then we go back to Daniel Hanley. And then behind him, it would be uh, Peter Smith now on the 311. down just a little wee bit there is Rob Chappelle on the 51 a couple of uh, lap guys coming through but here is the battle for the front of the field and slowly but surely Mark Hall is starting to wind in David Hall and he'll have a good look at the inside this time as they go into the Ash Caddy turn can't quite make it this time Hall just shuts them down as they turn onto the 90 degree right hander will it be the same as they come through the west back corner will it be the 69 of uh, Mark Hall or will it be the 28 of David Wall, Wall. It'll still be the 28 of Chiaomi, David Wall. Mark Wall through in second place. Andrew Kidd's got some problems there on the uh, Norton, the Manx Norton, the 500. He's going very, very slowly. There's the 101 that Colin takes through in uh, third place for the moment. The 331 on the position. He's moved up a spot now. And he's going to be moved up a spot now. Has this battle intensified? Has there been a change as they head down the front straight? White flag out, one to go. It's still Hall from Hall. What has Mark Hall's got for David Hall? If anything, David Hall has stretched out that little bit of an advantage. They go up over the top of the hill, down through the Westpac corner, and we'll get a good look at them as they hammer down into the Suzuki S's. 
and that advantage is going to be a winning one. I think he's extended in this lap, and there's nothing that the 69 can do about it. And I would think that he might be in a little brake trouble because he nearly overshot the first of the uh, Suzuki S's corner in uh, Mark Hall's out of Auckland, down in our Power Sports uh, Norton Atlas. So the win, if he can keep it on two wheels, and there's nothing to say he can't, uh, as he goes through the showy hairpin at the top end of the circuit, the win is going to go to Cal Moody's David Hall on the PJ Racing and Wrecking Dommy Developments Norton Dominator 500cc machine. And there he is, number 28. He's had a fantastic summer. He's been racing his GSXR 600 in the uh, Suzuki Series. Pretty sure he's doing some of the nationals. You might see him at Hampton Downs on the uh, 3rd and 4th of March. Uh, but we're certainly seeing him here on the classic machine. And he is your winner at the Lynn Motors Point um, Senior Classics race. Just trying to work out who'll go across the line in the first place in the juniors. Got a feeling it'll be Brendan Honey on the BSA Gold.